We should be back. Okay, and welcome back. Thank you for sticking with us through our break. Uh, our heroes went and, you know, we took care of uh, uh, getting refills on our drinks and talking strategy and everyone is saying how much they hate me offline, which, you know, I'm used to. Um, That's it is the life of a DM. Yep. Uh, so the first half of our show, our heroes had spoken with Max Mars. Uh, he made an offer to sponsor them as a hero team took them out to the parking lot where he showed off the flying van and sky cycles he was going to uh, give them if they do accept his offer. As he was showing it to them, a group of four supervillains teleported in, uh, tried to abduct Mars, but some quick action by uh, Portal and Professor Cephalopod led to Mars being tossed through a portal back into the lobby. Um, they fought for a brief amount of time before presumably their leader, the uh, the Cyber Knight woman, said, let's get out of here. Their time manipulator teleported them away, leaving behind Cannon, <laughs> who uh, had rope formation to go continue the fight. And um, yeah, let's just pick up right back there with, uh, <laughs> with Fiona. Fiona's turn as uh, Cannon oh, has been yeah. by his friends. Um, Kiana, you are no longer dazed, hindered, and vulnerable. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> well, Tempest oh, left. Uh, Portal, you are not either. But I'm going to use my new power that I am, I've not gotten to use because I am tend to be range. So I'm going to move my butt over to him. Okay. Like, right next to him. Like, I am standing over him. And I'm going to create a nice sword and I'm going to stab them. He is standing. He did get back to his feet, but. Well, then I'm going to stab him. Okay. <laughs> go right ahead. <laughs> well, in that this case, work. I will so go excited. stab him. <laughs> I'm going to stab him. 21. Did I stab him? Uh, 21 will hit him. Oh, yeah. Stab a stab. Oh, that's gonna suck. Maybe it's ice daggers in both hands, and I just. I mean, but like not to kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a a to not death. seven on his uh, toughness save. <laughs> Ooh. So he fails by twenty. Um taking him past incapacitated to dying. Um, so, Keone, tell us how you uh, dispatch Cannon. Oh, so this is non-lethal stabbing. Just. Okay. You cannot just... non-lethally stab someone. That is not a thing. <laughs> I mean, well, I guess mine's not heat. I was going to say, it just cauterizes the wound like after I stab him, but that would be if I had a heat weapon. Yeah, it is not a heat weapon. Nope. So I aggressively moved towards him after he was such a douche nozzle to us. And I produce in both hands uh -huh. small ice daggers. And I just whoosh, stab him. Okay. He is strategically to not hit any major organs, uh -huh. but enough to put him to the ground. Okay. Uh, yeah, he is unconscious and dying. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm so excited that power works so great. Uh, <laughs> um, that will take us out of combat. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to portal over to him immediately okay and try and treat him and yell something out like you know you could use like ice batons or something right you don't um, have to stab people that give is effective give me a treatment check this is not going to be good <laughs> i will uh, also move over there i mean i'm there's i'm gonna go ahead and spend my hero point you don't need to um, 
Go ahead and just take that back. Um, How do I take it back? If you right click on it, you should be able to sit, take a card. Perfect. Um, so uh, when you get over there, you see that actually his wounds are re knitting already. Uh, he regenerates slowly, mm -hmm. but he regenerates. See, so didn't hurt him badly. You don't stab people. You at least find out whether or not they can regenerate before you stab people. I took a 50 50 shot. Unacceptable. There is not a 50% chance that the random person you encounter has regeneration. <laughs> I mean, with us the the silver storm that happened, there is probably a 50-50 shot. But they'll have powers. I would like to repeat myself. Unacceptable. It worked. No more hey. Um I don't tell you how to throw your portals around. <clears throat> like, he doesn't throw his portals around to kill people. people with them. I am throw people at people. <laughs> Which is dope, by the way. <laughs> I am going to get on my uh comm unit uh, uh -huh. and contact the police and the paramedics. He's okay. fine. And then I will uh sort of use my grappling ability to Didn't he teleport? Hold him. Because, I um, am going to contact uh, Mars and say they've run away. There's one left. He's down, but he's regenerating. Do you have any kind of power nullifiers or something that we can keep him from getting out of here because he's a teleporter? Um, Mars will come back on. You can hear uh, him sounding slightly out of breath, and you can hear the sound of footsteps over the communicator. Um. He says, yes, we have power dampeners. Um, we are on our way. Is um, Oh, could I, question? could I use the, the sleep effect on my uh, venom blast on him while he's sort of unconscious? Absolutely. To kind of keep him asleep? Yeah, absolutely. What's that, Professor? <laughs> um so mars will make his way back over to the four of you um he is accompanied now by a couple of armed guards um but also some people wearing with with, with lab coats who are holding a set of uh, very high-tech looking manacles keone has a question yes. the communicators are they something that we can all hear responses to uh, so like, this one, yes, I would say. Okay. So, like, like, we all, so it's like in like Marvel movies where, like, when one says something, the whole team can hear him. Yes. Okay. Although it probably has a feature where you can, you know, Dude, talk just to just one that person. one yeah. person. Yeah. But probably the default is that it would go mm -hmm. to everyone. Okay. Just be careful what you say in the group chat. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Um, yeah, so Mars makes his way over. Um, like I said, accompanied, uh, they will uh, put manacles on him and uh, look over him to make sure that you know his wounds are not life threatening um strangely enough by the time they do that he's still unconscious but he doesn't even have a mark on him anymore mm -hmm. um lady do you know why you don't attack people with ice knives because i don't want to have to put a set of those on you you'd have to catch me first I have a distinct feeling I'd have help. This is not a conversation we have in front of not team members. No. Um, and Mars is going to say, well, 
I, uh, I appreciate your assistance. I hope this doesn't affect your decision over much. I mean, this is what we're supposed to be signing up for. Do you know who they are? I'm not familiar with these four, but they mentioned the big brain. I'm aware of him. Yes. Do any of are any of us do any of us know that name? Um, you are welcome to give me a intelligence, or again, if you have like a expertise, superheroes, or current events. Nope. <laughs> Not with a seven. What about something like history? Nope. Come on. Scrum. All right, straight intelligence. Where are you? Yeah, there we go. Did it roll? Bulwark we'll on an 18. Okay. There we go. Uh, that is a <laughs> that's a 29. Nice. Um, so Professor C, you have in some of your vigilante activity that you were doing before the silver storm and before people knew about you, you had heard of the big brain. Uh, the big brain is the leader of a group who, who usually go by their acronym of FOE, uh, which literally means the fraternity of evil. So, um, bad horse, bad horse. Yep. <laughs> Um, no one has ever seen the big brain, but, uh, yeah, the, frater the fraternity of evil, um, is basically a kind of a network of criminals. Um, they're not so much a, a you know, an organization in the traditional sense, but, uh, the brain contacts criminals, gives them information about a job, and then, you know, they pay a portion of it towards him. But, um, yeah, that's that's what you have heard. He's like the concierge of crime? Kind of, yeah. Well, um, Mr. Mars, you are apparently on foe's radar now. <clears throat> not entirely unexpected so they thought that this storm was your doing evidently to be fair so did and, we yeah well we wonder but they wanted to stop you Well, I remember them saying that the brain wanted to have a conversation with me. Yeah, probably wanted to steal the tech. Possibly. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. It's disturbing, but... Well... It seems you know a bit more about Big Brain than we do. What are the chances that he tucks his tail and goes away versus coming back bigger and stronger? He's likely to plan before he acts again. I don't think there's any immediate danger. But I wouldn't expect to not hear from him again. Although he's, he could have just called. Um, he is likely to send up 
better team next time. Perhaps. But like I said, I wouldn't expect that to happen. Soon. Probably nothing so uh, obvious as another smash and grab. No, I wouldn't expect that. Okay. Well, <laughs> as weird as it feels to leave you at this point, I think we've got all the information we can have at the moment. You've got the, your sources and research you're going to look into. So, I mean, I guess we'll be in touch. Very well. Exit, um, Exit stage left. Will, Take two. Yeah, you will hear <laughs> sirens. Um, Approaching and he says, well, that'll be the police. We'll provide them with the dampener so they can keep Mr. Cannon here occupied. And yes. Well, okay then. And right. I kind of awkwardly open a portal in front of us that leads us, uh, you know, back out to the outside of the campus and we can start making our way back uh, wherever we're going to go next. Before I go through, I will uh, look at Mars and say, check him for nanites. I shall. And then I will go through the portal. Okay. I'll begrudgingly go through the portal, making sure Mars knows my eyes are on him. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, so where are you guys headed after you uh, portal away? I mean, I'm sure the first one is just a nondescript location so that Mars doesn't see where you're going. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So where do we want to go next? Hold on. I am going to run a scan for uh, spyware, bugs, <laughs> tracking devices. Is there, a G is there a GPS locator in the communicator that he gave us? Sure thing. Uh, uh, tech? Yep. Doop, 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 doop. Come on. Or an appropriate expertise science if that's better, but I think your technology skills. Mm -hmm. 22. 22? Um, there is a GPS transponder in the device. However, it is not currently active. Okay. It is not broadcasting. And we don't seem to have, that I can locate, we don't seem to have any bugs or trackers or anything on us. Nope. Not that you can locate. Okay. Okay. Please um, continue. But... <laughs> but like I said, the, uh, the, the, the communicator does have a GPS, but it does not appear to be actively on. Okay. I would like to uh, speak with the, the chief of police to see about getting us that footage or possibly compiling some security footage uh, okay. of the truck. Well, we can we can head over to there. That's easy enough. A couple portals should get us there in no time. Mm -hmm. I will call ahead so that we don't just appear in front of him. <laughs> well, I would put us in front of the building police station. <laughs> but I would Actually, still call ahead to let him know that we're going yeah. to Actually, stop probably by. you might want to put us down the street from the police station. <laughs> too late <laughs> too late Whoop! right in front of it <laughs> I was like poop ah! but <laughs> cops are pointing guns at us well I okay. don't think we're like in the I think he means like outside on the sidewalk yeah yeah okay we so, don't need to make an entrance in the police station right <laughs> okay so you I, mean, I still don't mind doing that Okay. okay, so you pull your way over to the police station. 
you uh, Professor Cephalopod calls uh, Marcus Tolliver um, and um, when you call, uh, he, you know, he answers and says, um, this is the chief, yes. This is Professor Cephalopod. We are going to be stopping by the station house in approximately 30 seconds. <laughs> Very well. What can I do for you? Uh, <laughs> this is probably happening as I'm stepping through the portal. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to speak with you about the possibility of getting security footage uh, outside from outside on the streets um, to follow the movements of the truck just before it exploded. All right. Um, well, come. We're here. Oh. <laughs> hey. <laughs> He uh, pushes a button on his intercom and says, I know they're coming. Send them back. <laughs> I will hang up and we'll walk in. Okay. As we're like walking along, um, I'm going to get out my phone real quick and send a text off to Raven. Um, okay. You said you didn't trust him. Why? Is there anything I should be on the lookout for? He offered to make a headquarters for us. And then I'll continue on. Okay. Which she hilariously this, already knew. <laughs> at this point, do I... Did I ever get Crucible's number to where I could like text him and tell him like what's going on? You all have the ability to text him. You also all have communicators um, and you have the ability to text Overwatch, Tommy. Okay. I'm just uh, thinking like, we should probably text him and let him know what's going on. I believe you two traded real phone numbers because you said, don't give it out. Don't tell yeah. anybody. That's true, that's true, yeah, okay. And then you undressed it's gotta be. Apartment. It's gotta be more secret than your bra size. <laughs> Accurate. Uh, no. I'm gonna point out that only, uh, only Tommy and Ethan <laughs> and um, Riley were there for that. Yeah, but but Tommy and Ethan. If Ethan knows, everyone knows. Yeah, I'm saying sure. Didn't Ethan say it out loud at one point in front of all of us? Uh, maybe. But <laughs> in any case, um. Yeah, so you can send a text off to uh, to Ethan to let him know everything that has happened. Um, you send the text to Raven. You guys uh, will go back and uh, explain what you're looking for to uh, Marcus Tolliver, and he will say, um, well, it might be difficult to collect all of that information. Uh, I'm going to need to issue warrants. And there might be some bouncing around to figure out, you know, what the previous, you know, if there's any gaps in footage, it might take some doing to find. Plus, I suspect some of those cameras would have been destroyed during the, during the outbreak, but. Well, if it, if you, um, Mars offered us some help and he said he's going to get us access to Redshift. So if we, if we know and are given the route the truck took, that narrows down where, who we need to ask and where we need to worry about. Yep. Every little bit helps. Of course. Um, I will get on that and we'll be in touch. Um, can can I ask what, both personally and professionally, your opinion of a corporate sponsorship for a local team would be? He was very clear that it's not a sponsorship. <clears throat> now, he was very clear that there would be a separation 
of the corporation and us. It he, is still a corporation sponsoring the local heroes. He would be giving us what is essentially, in my field, known as a grant. Well, I think that most super teams have some sort of a sponsor at some point. Uh, some of them are able to do it internally. I know Daedalus has all of the money and patents to fund the league, but Daedalus has all the money, period. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess it comes down to on some level, any time people in my profession are dealing with people like you, we have to accept that there are powerful individuals making decisions outside of the uh, public channels. And it's up to everyone to figure out how much they trust the people involved. So far, you guys have done right by us. And I think we've started to establish some trust. I guess it's up to you to decide whether or not how much you trust the person who's offering to sponsor you. Well, but. Thank you for your input. Thank you. Have we uh, given him the information that we have gathered so far? Has that happened yet? I don't I think believe. you have. I can't. I don't. Can't, couldn't remember if we'd had a chance to or not. News dump. <laughs> so yeah, I will. You about the nanites, chief. All right. So you will dump what you found so far mm -hmm. on him. Ew. Ew. <laughs> A lot of butt jokes today. Usually he has to pay for that. Ew. Ugh. Double ew. Nope. Moving along. 95% of them are from you, Aunt Puppy, so. <laughs> we, uh, we will fill him in on the details nanites. that he needs to know about the case specifically the nanites uh how we think they gave people powers and the fact that uh what's left seems to be quickly dissipating okay so um all right So you will get a uh, text back from Overwatch uh, that will say, uh, Crucible's busy, but <laughs> says that the idea sounds good to him. He'll be in touch with you as soon as he can. Well, that's not cryptic at all. Yep. Um, <laughs> Portal, your phone is ringing. Ring, 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 ring. Uh, your phone is on silent. It shouldn't be ringing, but your phone is ringing. Yeah. Um, I'm going to assume that the uh, communicators have Bluetooth. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I'm going to answer <laughs> my phone through my uh, communicator. Hello? Hey, kid. Hey, Raven. I thought it would probably you. I thought you would. So, Mars told me that he was thinking about uh, sponsoring a team. <laughs> we I said I don't trust him, and I don't. But I also believe him, at least about this. I don't think he had anything to do with that storm. 
And I think he's sincere. I don't trust him. I would want to keep an eye on him. But I think there's also some value to being able to do that from within. Consider me your inside man. That and, you know, let's be honest, if you guys tell him no, he's going to find another group. True enough. I do think he, his preference would be the five of you because of how you responded to the storm itself and to how you dealt with the league when they showed up. Nice work, by the way. Thanks. Yeah, I kind of find, you know, trying to prevent someone from being killed tends to get you on their nights, on their uh, plus side. Yes. But I do think that if you tell him no, he will find another group and they may not yeah. be as altruistically minded as you are. That's true enough. So I'm not telling you to accept his offer, but I think there might be reasons to do it. Just keep your eyes and ears open. Will do. Thanks. I'll be watching. You always are. <laughs> Bye. There's no bye. She just hangs up. Yep. <laughs> I'm used to this. <laughs> there was no hint of like malice or like there was no negative behind you always are. It's right. Um, well, so that was Raven. So say, you plan on sharing with the class? I mean, you heard half the conversation. Perhaps we should adjourn to the lab. Yeah. That's probably a good idea. What lab? Follow me. That's right. You haven't been there yet, have you? I have not. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> as we me, step as through, I, as we, as we as step through the final through. portal. Welcome to the Octopod. <laughs> That is not going to be the name of our new headquarters. Yeah, that's Professor Cephalopod's lab. That is okay. Uh, actually, the octopod is the thing that he, he, that's his tank suit. Ah, okay. The octo lab. I, I love that Seth has turned into basically Batman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the octo everything. <laughs> yeah. Got to get that branding on there. <laughs> the second. Hey! Now every time you do anything, you'll be like Octograffle. <laughs> it's the it's the cephalopad. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. 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 How's it feel? How's it feel? <laughs> <laughs> I like it. So yeah, we're back there, and um, when we get back there, I'll kind of finish up my thought with, um, well, I mean, we know she doesn't trust him, but she believes that he's on the up and up with this offer, and she um, fairly pointed out that if we don't take him up, he's gonna find someone else who will. And we can't be necessarily certain of their motives. So I think we should take them up on it. I mean, I already told him I was on board. So I'm guessing it's just me that you're worried about now. Well, you are. And, the, and I'm. I'm saying this as I'm coming out of the bottom of my suit. <laughs> I've never seen this before, so I am freaked out. So I drop onto the floor and kind of push myself up. Um, and uh, you, you, you get the, f this is the first time you really get the full visual of 
just how big this octopus is. Because <laughs> he's big. <laughs> um, it's a man-sized octopus. Basically, yes. And your you voice think- is still coming out of the suit that's hanging from the ceiling, right? Huh? Can you? Your voice is still coming out of the suit that's hanging from the ceiling? Yeah, it's still coming out of the speaker in the suit. So, like, can you be standing there, like, on four of your little tentacles with the other two just, like, very angrily pointing at me? Uh, the other four could be. My arms could be pointing at you, yes. Oh, yeah, I didn't really math that very well. Did no, I? you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> math is hard, all right? My intellect is only one, all right? <laughs> so, uh, yes, you you are the one who seems to be the most... Let us go with cautious. Spirited. Cautious among us. You are... Oh, that's the thing we're talking about now. You are okay. a very suspicious individual. Bitch. I just don't trust that he's willing to be so nice and give us so many things. Like, that just seems like he's setting it up to get something from us that we may not like at some point. And I, I will I think, crawl I into the tank. Behind. I think we're all behind that idea. It's just, there's the other ideas behind that, which is one, whatever, if he is up to something, if he has an ulterior motive, it's going to happen regardless of whether we're the team or not. Two, he's going to have a team, whether it's us or not. Three, we don't know who that team will be if it's not us. Uh, I splash into the tank. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, there is also the factor we are not considering that is what he wants, what he gets out of this might not be, it, it may not have anything to do with us in specific. He could just be looking to build goodwill with the city. Do you really think a corporation is looking to build goodwill with the city? Um I think that could be very important in his they, line of work. They yes. Do that kind of thing all the time. It's what helps them when they do things that aren't quite so good. Whether people finding out people finding out about them doing those things that are not quite so good. Eventually it is going to leak that the connection between Redshift and Mars that is going to get out into the public. Secrets do not stay secret especially the more people who know about them. And now we all know, he knows, Freedom League knows, the police know, police know it is going to get out. I see all so point. It is quite possible, he, possible that he is simply attempting to get ahead of that um, bad press. And to be clear, we're not saying trust him. Or that we trust him. It's just that this is the smart play at this moment. And we should continue keeping an eye on him. If we're going to be doing this, at some point we have to pay for things. And if if it gets him goodwill and we know he's not responsible for the, for the storm, and he's willing to cover us. It, it, we will set up the legalese in place. I know. I don't know about Professor Sepulapa, but I know that I have a lawyer to deal with my patents. That reminds me. Affiliated with. I have several. I pull out my phone again. Forgot one more thing. Do you know? A, I'm, I'm sure you know a lawyer who specializes in superhero law. Any chance you can make some recommendations? Send it off to Raven. So, <laughs> yeah, we will be covered and not liable to them for, you know, it will be two separate entities. And I am not naive. I have been in this business for a long time. Well, his business, not this business. The lab will still exist. Should we need it? Okay. I'll go along. 
like I said, we're not saying trust him. We're just saying we'll go along and it wouldn't be a bad thing if you could be nice. <laughs> I gave you an icy glare. Perhaps, perhaps we should just say use ice clubs, not ice dagger. Don't be quite so frosty to our benefactor. I'll try to warm up to him. I'm not making any promises, but I'll try. That's all we can ask. Also, please stop stabbing people. <laughs> but it's so much fun. That that worries me, young lady. Not something that's encouraging to hear. No, that's <laughs> that is a very worrying. Perhaps therapy? Uh, I'll be fine. A, a, a lot of it? <laughs> Why are you helping people? I'll work on figuring out what to use instead. But I let the, my temper get the best of me with him bad-mouthing women. But it's fine. I'll figure it out. People, Kayoni, are, you, are, you, are you doing this because you want to help people? Or are you doing this because you want to beat up bad guys? Can the answer be both? Yeah, but if it had to be one, what's your... I mean, bad guys. We'll work on that. So I could recommend, you know, you could do a big ice, like, war hammer sledge thing. Oh, I could get behind that. Have you ever played polo? Ooh, or a cricket mallet? They are essentially the same. I can get behind that. Baseball bat? <laughs> we'll see. But I can get behind those kind of weapons. Okay. So. Um... It's only, it's not even lunchtime yet. <laughs> who's calling who's calling Maximilian? I mean, I think Bulwark has the Bulwark, don't you have the communicator? Mm -hmm. Yep. I was going to offer it to Professor Cephalopod first. Perhaps perhaps Portal and Bulwark could go somewhere that is not the lab. Okay. I was actually I was going to say let's take the GPS out of it. Well, there's no real reason to do that yet. Okay. How bad how bad of a shape are my clothes in, speaking of? <laughs> um, I, got, I, you I got fire blasted and I got <laughs> punched twice. Well, and you kicked. got you got punted. Yeah, you got punted. <laughs> Right, I'm trying to remember. Uh, how far have we gotten with uh, you and your uh, daughter and your granddaughter uh, making a costume? She, and she hasn't made me a costume yet. She's okay. been she's been working on designs and working on fabrics. And Professor Cephalopod and I were going to develop like a treatment to make it more durable. Right. And I think we're at less than 48 hours from him getting powers. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, she's had a day to work on this. Um, <laughs> As a Why cosplayer, I, we, we, we were going to meet a big corporate guy. I figured, I, like I said, I showed up in my suit. Yeah. Um, oh. <laughs> yeah it's, I mean, you know, you're not indecent, but it's in pretty rough shape. Um, you're Bruce Willis at the end of Die Hard. <laughs> uh, not, actually... Uh, you would kind of be, the hilarious thing is, is that you would kind of be exactly the book version of that character. Yeah. Because yeah. I believe in the book, he's like 70. Really? Huh. Yeah. He's going there to visit his daughter. Yeah. Gotcha. The book is very different. <laughs> Never read it. Um, Didn't know it was a book. Don't waste your time. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but yeah, so you can. Uh, I will 
portal away and um, take the communicator with me unless Bulwark is going to go with me. Can you get me home to change? <laughs> I mean, I don't know where your home is. So it would take a while and a fair <laughs> number of people would see you. I have a, there's a lab coat right over there. All right, I'll put the lab coat on. Force of habit. I don't know why I bought one. <laughs> <laughs> Remind me to keep, to keep some clothes here, Professor. That is probably a good idea. <clears throat> so, so, then... Portal yeah, and I will uh, teleport away. Okay. And, yeah, once we're a reasonable distance away, I will... I assume, we can get, I assume that we can find, like, the parking busy parking lot at lunchtime of a restaurant overlooking the water. Sure. You know. Um, hey Keone. It's around lunchtime. You do have classes today. <laughs> eh, it's fine. You realize just as the portal closes. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I'm late anyways. At least this will give me time to stop at Starbucks first. There you go. All right. So you need to peace. Where am I actually? (laughs) It's true. You just (laughs) teleported there. You don't actually know where you are. Um, Which direction is the university? South. Problem both is no, there are like three universities. So three of his arms point in different directions. (laughs) How do I get out of here? I guess is a more important question. The door. <laughs> Be back in a few minutes. All right. So uh, you guys portal yeah. away, and you're going to call Mars. I will beep Mars. Yeah, call Mars on his communicator. Beep him on his communicator. Okay. And he'll uh, respond. And uh, bulwark. I wasn't expecting to hear from you so quickly. It's been a busy morning, but oh, yeah. we, we, we had a discussion and we talked to Crucible and we will still need to hammer out the details, but I think we're going to take you up on your offer. The city needs a team, that much is obvious, and, you know, it, it would help to have a little bit of support, so. All right. Well, I'm very happy to hear that. Um, I'll have my lawyers uh, start drawing up the documents that we discussed. We can, we will do the same and then we can compare. Yeah, well, we can hammer that all out. Of course, I will. I for the most uh, part, we're all on the same page. I'll make the, uh, I'll set up the press conferences. I'll speak with the mayor and uh chief of police and Aegis and start getting all of those meetings set up as well. Okay. And we, well, you know how to contact us and we can contact you. So I assume that we will speak more in the next couple of days. Uh, Undoubtedly. Um, One question. Uh, If I'm going to start setting out press releases and, and, and getting you know, make, making the overtures to officials. What are we going to call you? We'll get back to you on that. <laughs> and I think that is probably going to be where we go ahead and wrap it up for tonight. Um, that's a good ending. Yep. What, what's that? I said, that's a good ending. Um, audience, uh, next week, we are going to start our episode with um, an opportunity for you guys to get involved. We are going to, uh, our team is going to come up with a couple of options for a team name, and we are going to let you vote on the team name. So uh, be prepared for that at the beginning of next week's episode. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for uh, tuning in and watching us tonight. Uh, 
as always, on Thursday, we will have a new blog post up over at untoldstoriesproject.com. On Friday, our new episodes uh, from the previous week will be posted to the website. They'll be posted to uh, YouTube as Alex gets them done. That might be a little delayed right now because, you know, he's got this little thing happening this weekend. I think he's like getting married or something. Um, Slap. Next month. Next Monday, even though uh, he is getting married on Sunday, uh, Alex and his crew will be back on to uh, continue our Netherware campaign. And everyone, including Alex, will be back here next Tuesday as we continue to explore Emerald City and hopefully come up with a name for our heroes. Um, as always, I will remind you that uh, if you're enjoying this and want to play Mutants and Mastermind yourself, um, if you go to the Green Ronin online store and use the code USPGR, you will get 5% off your purchase. And a little bit of that money will then come back here um, to us to help keep us uh, producing this content. Oh, yeah, we just went to... So, uh, sorry about that. Um, my mouse apparently is haunted because I literally was not touching it. <laughs> Are we... We're back. Okay. And we're back. Sorry about that. Um... <laughs> we miss Alex. <laughs> hey, I my hands were nowhere near the mouse. <laughs> that is true. I will say your hands were nowhere near your mouse. He has done a great job <laughs> for yeah. doing this for the first time. So we're so proud of you. So, Whiskey, is there anything you'd like to share before we uh Um no, I'm I other than I'm very worried about my haunted mouse, we're good. <laughs> Brandon. Read a book. Of course. Uh, Aunt Puppy. No, but if you would like, I do, I make candles at nerdy themed candles, nerdy themed jewelry, nerdy themed shirts. Um, I'm working on designs for all of us here. Um, so hopefully we'll have something soon. Um, you can see more at uh, uh, Geek uh, Natural on Etsy. Okay. Um, I don't know if we can get that in the chat right now because the chat has weird rules about posting links, but we will make sure that is shared in the chat next week. Um, Howard. Have a good week. Play a game. All right. Thank you guys so much. And Thank you. We'll see you next week. All right, Magic Mouse. Do your thing. <laughs>